What's up guys? Welcome back. This right here is the Sandy Land, and in the past few videos, it's been turning into quite a little speed machine. The 3S LiPo, and we've been able to get some ridiculous speeds out of it. It practically flies down the road. The one issue with it though, is that most of our upgrades so far have just been focused on getting more power into it. So it is very fast, but it's not super controllable or efficient. So in today's video, we're gonna be trying to fix that. I'm gonna be streaking on some street tires and a rear wing, and I'm also gonna be tuning the suspension to get it lower and softer. Once we've done that, we're gonna take it out for a test and hopefully get some new top speeds. Enjoy. So the first upgrade we're going to be doing here is we're going to be sticking on these street tires right here. The tires we're running at the moment are the ones for the Latrax Tate, and these are actually some amazing all-around tires. In fact, when the road is dry enough, I've actually managed to pull some standing backflips with them, so they're definitely very grippy. But the street tires are supposed to be even grippier, so we're going to try that out and see if that's true. Now these tires unfortunately do not come pre-glued, so I'm going to go glue them real quick and then I'll stick them on. All right, so we've got our new tires on and they look pretty good. Ignore the glue. Now the one issue that I'm noticing about these that I don't really like is that they're very narrow. Like look at this, they're about half the width of the ones that we had on there before. Now obviously that's not good because it means there's a smaller contact patch and less rubber on the road. Now I'm hoping that that won't be too big of a deal because obviously since these don't have a ton of tread, more of the tire is touching the road. So it should hopefully still have a pretty big contact patch. But it definitely is a shame that they're not just that slightest bit wider. And it also appears that my C has come off. So I'm just gonna redraw that real quick. So the next up we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be sticking on this spoiler right here to hopefully make a bit of extra downforce and just keep the car on the ground. Now I'm not an expert on spoilers, so I can't say 100% how well this is gonna work, but if I blow on it, it does go down a little bit. So I'm hoping that means that it works. So to get this thing on, you just have to unscrew these four screws right here. So the whole shock tower comes off, but then you just take one of these and you stick it on there and it does not hold on its own. So you have to hold it on yourself and stick the screws on the other side. And actually I'm gonna put the screws in first just so that they're sticking out and I can screw them in better. So once you've got those screws in, then you can see they're sticking out the back here. So you can get the one side of the wing on like that. So once we've got the screws in on the bottom here, holding on the little things that hold out the wing, and you can actually take the other two screws and then stick them right back in where they originally were to hold the shock tower on. It's kind of a weird design. They don't actually line up in the right spot to hold on the little wing things, so you just have to put them back in. So once you've done that, your shock tower is back on. And now these things, they're only actually attached on the bottom because the top one, if you try and line it up like that over those screw holes, it just doesn't work. So you have to align these yourself in the way that it'll line up with the holes on the spoiler. And you can get the spoiler on by just taking these little screws that come with it, sticking them through the holes on the wing like that, and then just stick it down there. So we got the spoiler on and then just to make it so it's a little bit balanced and it doesn't move back and forth a bunch. I'm just gonna put a dot of glue there and there. And eventually I might also try and drill that out and run a screw through so it works a bit better. All right, so we've got our spoiler on and I must say it looks pretty awesome, especially with these tires. Now I'm not 100% certain that I put it on correctly. I definitely felt a lot harder than it should have been. So I'm not sure, but it's definitely on now. So the next upgrade I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be lowering it a bit and I'm also gonna be softening the springs. So lowering it is a super simple upgrade. You just have to unscrew the screw at the top here. And normally to lower the suspension, you'd move it in, but on the Sandy Land, you can see that sort of goes upwards. So you actually want to move it out. And on the bottom, you would also normally want to move that out, but it's already as far out as it can go. So you can see we got it a little bit lower now, and it's not a huge difference, but having the center of gravity be just that little bit lower is definitely going to be really helpful. So the final upgrade we're going to be doing is we're going to be making the springs just a tiny bit softer. So you see the old tires that we had on there are extremely soft. You can see you can push that up and down a fair bit. These tires, though, have a bit of foam in them, so they don't really absorb shock. So we're going to be relying entirely on our shocks for absorbing shock. And so to make them be able to do that a bit more effectively, I'm going to make the springs a little bit looser. So to do that, I've 3D printed these little things right here, which basically go on the bottom of the shocks and you'll see what they do in a second. So you can see it goes on in place of this little black thing right here at the bottom and it basically just lets the spring extend that little bit further. So what that does 
is it makes this side dramatically softer than this side. So I'm gonna put these things on all four shocks and then I'll see you guys when I'm done. So now we've got all our upgrades on and we're just about ready to take this thing out and give it a test. Now at the moment, without the shell on, the sander then sort of looks like a little buggy and I think that looks amazing. Unfortunately though, we do sort of lose that look once we put the shell on, I mean, yeah, that does not look very good. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to run it with the shell on for now just to keep all the electronics and stuff protected. But sometime very soon, I'm definitely going to do something about that to make it look a lot better. Alright, so one of our tires has come off and the other one has come unglued despite the colossal amount of glue that I used. But the good news is it's a pretty easy fix so I'll just glue that one back on and I'll screw this one back on and then we'll be ready to go. Stop doing that. Hello, oh, back here. Huh. Gotta screw those on tighter. Yeah, these don't get any grip at all on grass. <laughs> yeah, definitely not off-road tires. So there it is, three more upgrades for the same event. These are definitely some great upgrades. So for starters, the new tires. I was worried that these things wouldn't get a ton of traction because obviously they're pretty narrow, but it seems like for the most part, I was actually wrong about that. On dry pavement, these things get a ton of traction. I'd say we've gained at least a few miles an hour out of them. Now I would say that the old tires we're running are still better all around tires, just because these new ones cannot go off-road at all. And also if they get wet, they basically turn into drift tires. But for speed runs, they're definitely really good. Also having the same be lower definitely makes a huge difference on its cornering. You may remember that it used to roll pretty much every time we turned, but now we're hardly rolling at all. So now we've got our sandy lane going extremely fast, and I would say that it's just about ready for a race against the Rustler, and I know that a lot of you guys have been getting really excited about that, so we're gonna do it soon. So stay tuned for that, subscribe so you don't miss it, and I'll see you all then. <laughs>